Hello everybody, just finished watching the late game in La Liga between Getafe and Barcelona and yeah, looking at today's results it feels appropriate that I'm wearing my new Barcelona shirt more or less for the first time. Um, it's of course the 2010-11 one that they won the Champions League in style in and yeah, one that I wanted to have for a long time and it's totally fitting because everything went for Barcelona today uh, as we will see and yeah. Um, also wanted to note, every day I'm doing small changes back there. Uh, I'm curious how many of you notice what are the changes. <laughs> um, also, uh, lastly, before I get there, I decided to go really with uh, La Liga fully and skip the pl uh, NFL playoffs because I took two, take two more days of vacation, which enables me to catch up. Don't spoil the results to me. I'm gonna watch NFL playoffs tomorrow morning. Uh, looking forward to that a little bit. Uh, but that way I don't have to uh, stay up. I don't like that this black shirt below. It looks better. Okay, let's talk about the games. Um, the first game I think today was 0-0 uh, between Eibar and Villarreal. Um, don't need to talk about the event. The big game, of course, was between Sevilla and Atletico Madrid, um, which was also a little bit of a weird jersey match. I mean, Sevilla playing at home in all the white with the black socks, which is their kit. I'm not sure if I like it. That kit of Sevilla features a little bit too little red for me. Uh, for my liking, a little bit more red would do uh, this kit very well. And Atletico and their third kits. These greenish blue ones with stripes, very weird kit overall. Um, I only started from the 30th minute, but uh, right off the bat, uh, got the, uh, it was quite exciting. And um, from what I hear, this was where the excitement started uh, with Andre Silva all, almost scoring uh, a goal. And then just a minute later, uh, Ben Yedder. Um, slotting it home. I think uh, Andres will hit, hit the cross of the goal. It was a really great shot and then just later on he was also involved in that goal. Um, gave Sevilla a lead which at that point when I saw the statistic was probably deserved although um, the keeper had to make some save the Sevilla keeper had to make some saves and shortly thereafter Sevilla could have made it 2-0 uh, which they failed. I think it was again Ben Yeda. I'm trying to recall this game because there's so many things happening that I'm trying to <laughs> filter in my um, brain. And after that, suddenly, uh, just before halftime, there is a foul on, I'm going to look up the name, Partey, uh, of uh, Atletico right in front of the box. And great free kick position for Griezmann. I see what Chris, I look at it and then there was kind of this wall where Atletico players and Sevilla players are mixed and it doesn't um, it doesn't seem like a good wall and Griezmann has a great shot and it goes right into goal. A uh, really beautiful shot, 1-1 one, one. at halftime, a little bit of controversy, a little uh, uh, going in, but I think it was overall uh, all right. The game then in the second half, again, it took a little bit to get going and then Sevilla had again chances, 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 but also um, Atletico Madrid then at the end was a little bit a stronger team, but you could see that, yes, Sevilla wants to go for the win, but it was not very convincing because they knew that this Atletico team is one that you really want to be careful with. And yeah, I think Carisma had two great chances where he, he showed up on his right side and then shot with the left foot with the outside of the foot. Really weird uh, how he missed there. Sevilla had a few chances. I think there was one where suddenly three players had the chance to get it in. No, they didn't manage. And it ends in a 1-1 draw and since second played third uh, at the end of the draw, first place team, Barcelona is of course very very happy about that one. So. That was that game. I'm just looking at statistics uh, here. It was 15 shots and goals, but uh, 15 shots um, next to the goals. So 20, 20 shots, uh, 19, uh, 2019 in shots, so relatively even. Five on goal for Sevilla only, and seven for uh, Atletico. Um, Sevilla had, of course, more of the ball. 
and yeah it was overall a pretty pretty even game the only thing it was not even was yellow cards and even there it was i mean 11 yellow cards and there was no yellow red that has to be said most of the cards came in the second half i think there were only two yeah navas and korea that uh, didn't get yellow card in the second half and yeah uh Matletic Matletic got two more but 11 yellow cards and that uh, there was one scene i think my party um fouled navas and the stadium erupted and everyone got at each other's throats um i think suddenly the yellow card of the referee was on on the on, on the floor and as a yellow given for andre silva probably for protesting too much overall i think it was a better game that he could, could expect every time an athletic plays you don't necessarily expect a good game because you know they are a tough team to play against but i think uh, the free kick and the chance by andre silva and you know so overall the drama i think made it well worth watching that one um was enjoyable let's put it that way i didn't get super into it but it was it was enjoyable the second game that was on my list and i only saw very little was of course real madrid against real sociedad i <laughs> saw the beginning and penalty given uh, right, right away what casemiro was thinking of you know it was safe there and he gets a penalty he, he gives away a penalty and in the third minute i mean the foul was in the second and the third minute uh william jose makes the one nil then i don't know too much of what happened i'm looking now at the statistics and yeah of course real madrid um has more chances i i know i saw a big chance by pause mind uh, i think 10th minute and then I kind of lost control of the game because I need to uh, be with the family. Uh, we were uh, eating, kids go to be, need to go to bed. And, you know, tomorrow is a school day again after vacation. So, yeah, didn't get too much of that game. Uh, of course, Real Madrid had more possession. Um, but uh, I just watched a little bit at the end. I think uh, I have the feeling that this was a game where Real Madrid is trying a lot, but is not very organized, is playing all over the place. And uh, Real Sociedad launches the counter attacks, and one counter attack made him made it 2 0. Uh, in the meantime, Real Madrid also got a player sent off for a uh, tactical foul on the midway line. Uh, who was it? Yeah, uh, Lucas Vasquez, of course. And yeah, uh, Real Madrid is in deep crisis. Uh, yesterday, I said they lost. Uh, vital points away to Villarreal, Alaves overtook them and now they lose at home to Real Sociedad, it doesn't look good, Pardo made it 2-0 and there was a huge chance by Villan um, to make it 3-0 yeah, towards the end of the game, uh, a wide open shot, should have made that one quite easily but he didn't do it so that's how it went, so Real Madrid loses 2-0 and <laughs> the crisis is getting bigger they were six losses on the season uh and now they really they lost a spot they're now in fifth spot um it needs to they need to get something really going so after 18 games i mean i think the good thing is it's only 18 games it's not even a half season yet so uh that might be in their favor they can still pull it out and last year they were also a little bit they were far off the pace uh, after the first half of the year and then win the champions league so you know you never know but at the moment it doesn't look good and there's a lot of unrest and then the last game was between getafe and barcelona what shall i tell you getafe uh, uh, actually plays well at the beginning then the defenders make a mistake and messi has a clear shot on goal well let's put it that way two defenders messi tries to get through them the goalkeeper comes out the ball gets past the goalkeeper messi is there and from a cute angle uh, empty net puts it in uh one nil and from that moment barcelona controls the game and very similar to the game they had just before the christmas break where they didn't play well at levante and then they make the goal and then uh, it gets out of hand didn't happen today but it was there was a danger of it happening because just a few uh, minutes later messi free kick gets head head headed away the ball falls right in front of uh, luis suarez uh, outside of the box who, box who volleys it in wonderful wonderful goal 2-0 and then uh mata not juan mata i want to know if they're actually related but i don't think i have any player bios here on that app 
uh, makes it um, want to just for me it's later and then in the second half it got kind of I felt Barcelona is lazy or you know they didn't take the game too seriously let it a little, little bit slide Getafe had chances uh, Mata first and foremost quite some quite some chances to um, net a few more goals uh, didn't happen uh, I think there was one chance where it was wide open and he couldn't make it then of course Barcelona uh, has also their I mean they're the best team in Spain, let's face it. Uh, they have their chances of making a third goal, also don't make it so it ends 2-1. Um, no one will talk about that game any, anymore. It's three points uh, and the most important thing is that Barcelona now has 40 points after 18 games, Atletico 35 and Sevilla 33. So you have already a five-point cushion and most importantly you are 10 points ahead of Real Madrid. So um, Alaves 31 of course. So it looks quite comfy for Barcelona, I have to say. Um, Getafe, seventh spot, you know, 25 points. Also not too far off for Real Madrid. So this was actually, overall, if I look at it, a good win. Uh, who else? Real Sociedad um, goes now in 11th. I didn't like their great jerseys with the green. I don't know what this has to do with Real Sociedad. And then even the crest in green didn't look good. Um, a bar 22 and yeah I think I went over the table yesterday so uh, Real Sociedad is 11, Valencia 12 and of course Atletico Sevilla uh, on top this is Barcelona's to lose honestly I think Barcelona uh, gets more and more an edge in La Liga um, I'm not sure if we will see a title league race if Barcelona continues this way. Um, yes, it's not even the half a point, which I find a little bit, yeah, ah, it, 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 it's not at all, but you know, there's still a lot of games to play, but at the moment it doesn't look um, as if anyone else but Barcelona is gonna win that one. And maybe Atleti can make a challenge, but I honestly don't see it. Um, they're a little bit too sketchy for me. Um, I think they were in better shape last year. Let me know what you thought about La Liga this weekend. Uh, we have now a lot of Copa del Rey, Copa Italia, FA Cup and all that kind of uh, stuff going, going on. Um, I saw Leicester, that was the only casualty of the Premier League uh, in the FA Cup. Uh, okay, I guess Newport Town, let's check that one quickly. Newport County, uh, other than that FA Cup. We'll get maybe more interesting later on, and the same thing for La Liga and Coppa Italia. Coppa Italia, at least we have some Serie A matchups already, so that might get a little bit more interesting. But I will stick for now with, with, with the leagues. If, there, if there's something interesting happening, I'll make a video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked that video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.